Lovely. I think that's just a cow, Landry. No, no, it's goat squirrel. It's a cow. It's a goat squirrel. Cow. 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 Wow! Oh, disgusting. Look how it eats. All the blood. Whoa. On the table today, let's possibly have some revolting fun with this Jurassic World Tyrannosaurus Rex anatomy kit, a science, technology, engineering, and mathematics toy of our famous favorite dinosaur. This set features a wild look inside the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh, disgusting. It's just anatomy, Barry. We all look weird inside. Here's how it goes on the back of the box, Tyrannosaurus Rex Anatomy Kit. We have an image of our pieced together Rex with callouts to a pumping heart and lungs, chomping jaw, and moving leg muscle. So plenty of things to keep our mind on. Looks like we have one dinosaur, six skin pieces, three bone pieces, two muscle pieces, and one DNA activator. And if you like this idea, there's also a paleontology kit, which I think is in the back of my office. If everyone can give this video lots of likes and comments, I will surely be a paleontologist and dig up a T-Rex. Kinda reminds me of Treasure X. Alright, let's open this box up and go to school with Tyrannosaurus Rex Anatomy Kit. I think I'll just drive around the park. Might just want to leave the toy there for a second, we get a good window view of everything included. As the box says, anatomy is the study of the inner workings of the body. So I think the most important thing to look at first is this DNA activator key. This thing is going to activate the DNA or the features inside our T-Rex, so we don't want to lose this. I'll just put this over here so I lose it. Now I suppose the next very important thing of the T-Rex are the tiny front forearms. Let's remove those. What did you have for Thanksgiving this year? Well, I had a turkey wing. How dare you? <laughs> all right, all right, let's get this main T-Rex out of the box. Hopefully it doesn't fall apart too much on me. Maybe we start with the tail. Oh wow, the muscles are rubbery. For some reason, I did not expect that. Very bouncy, like a muscle. All right, feels kind of like you can replace everything back in the box, so do this carefully and you can repack this and play again on any rainy day. Let's just remove the rest. And now everything on the table, this will be quite fun piecing back together somehow. Luckily we have some instructions here. <laughs> instructions? Squirrel Stampede is too unintelligent to read such important documents. <laughs> That's right, Squirrel Stampede thought STEM stood for Stupid Toy Eating Machine. <laughs> that is right, Squirrel Stampede doesn't even understand the anatomy of his own body. I once saw him try to eat Treasure X dirt. <laughs> I bet he has ready-to-robot slime for brains. <laughs> As if Squirrel Stampede has brains. <laughs> Good one. Hey, what is all this stuff, by the way? <laughs> it's the inside anatomy of the T-Rex. All its guts and stuff. <laughs> inside the T-Rex? Guts? Oh, oh, I'm standing it. <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> Girls, God, come on. Jeez. Anyhow, let's try to piece together the T Rex to see how it looks complete first. So, probably find the main chunk of body here. That is a very interesting piece. 
And we'll start by placing on some forearms here. It looks like one is already installed, so we'll just add this other one to this very bony-like arm. Let's see, is this the inside or the outside piece? This must be the outer piece right here. Oh good, that was a little hard at first. Take the bony forearm off first, then place the skin around, then reinstall. Much easier to do. Alright, so what do we got next? We're going to assemble a leg, it looks like. Here is our meaty leg. And we're going to find the footprint. This outer leg casing is probably needing to be opened up. There we go. That's the tail. We'll just put that aside. That's the body cover. That's a side. So another tail. Okay, so now we can get this together. It looks like the muscle mass is already placed onto the leg. So we don't have to worry about that yet. Let's place on the foot. It's quite tight. Start with the upper part of the foot and then work your way down. Okay, now this part here is on this side. And the other side, the outward side, is here. It's a tight fit. Well, I got it close. It's a really tight fit with the muscle in there. It's kind of bulging out. Uh, you might want to play around with it. Try some tricks to squeeze it all in there. I think we've got most of it. So there's our leg. And now I guess we could just piece together the rest here. We can go with this shell piece maybe first, because we're going to want to put the leg over it. That seems to work pretty good. Then we've got this back tail piece. That'll probably go on next. Okay, works pretty well. And then the final tail piece here. It's a nice little bone inside. Let's flip her around. There we go. Everything seems to kind of peg into certain pieces. Although well, that's going to be a really interesting fit, getting that muscle to fit into these red tabs. Not sure if I'm going to be really good at that. Oh, look at that. There's even a ball joint that it's kind of fitting on into. Let's try removing this and going from the other side. So into the ball joint. I think I got it now, okay. It's into the ball joint now. And I guess we can leave the tail on now for good. We don't have to take that off. I'm not really sure though how to get that muscle mass to grab on and around it easily at least on camera, that's for sure. All right, well, let's just kind of get it close. That's kind of close, it's kind of holding, and then let's place in this leg now, right into the joint. I think we have it if we just don't touch it. I think it's going to be one of those sit next to the fireplace toys and spend all night trying to get all those panels to fit perfectly. The biggest challenge is those springy muscles like to spring back out the panels so getting a perfect fit is going to take some time. We should be in a good spot now though to test out the DNA activator on the opening and closing jaws. You can insert it into the neck of the T-Rex. And now with some rotation we can open and close her mouth. Oh! Oh dear. Yeah, she's not going to stand well with that leg, that's for sure. Well, let's remove some pieces and test out some of the inner functions. Okay, there we go with the panels removed off the leg and the torso section. So I believe now we are going to take the DNA activator key, which is still in her head, by the way. We're going to try to place this key in her back now. We're going to mess around with this leg and see what it does. And there we go, it's kind of a running like movement. You can see that muscle kind of bend just ever so slightly, not as much as I thought. Actually, let's remove this muscle. I think it just comes right off. Yep, there it goes. Very 
rubbery material. That is a very cool effect I didn't expect. Although, again, it's really hard to get those shells over it. But there is the leg in movement a little bit. You can kind of see how that foot kind of moves too. There's a little bit of a mechanism inside there. Must be some gears helping move it. Next up, we can peer more inside this dinosaur. And now we can remove this rib cage. Oh, that's just delicious. Look at that. You don't get that at Chili's, that's for sure. I want my T-Rex, T-Rex baby back ribs. I want my T-Rex baby back ribs. Now we're going to move our DNA activator over here to the heart and lung section. And now with some rotation, we can see the pumping heart and lungs. That's pretty cool. I didn't expect to see the T-Rex heart being so big. Let's get a little closer in. Very interesting. Kind of that same squishy muscle like plastic going around in there. I don't really see the lungs. I just kind of see, well, I don't know what I see actually. Just kind of looks like the inside workings of the T-Rex. Over on this side, we pop this leg out again. You can kind of see the intestines in here. That would be Gennaro and uh, maybe some of the other raptors. Who knows what's going on in there. As for the back here, we have the tail section. We've got a nice section of spine going down here, connecting to the tail. So I guess that is about it. I kind of thought there would be just a little more piecing together of the inside guts and stuff of her. On this side of the T-Rex, I think everything is basically solid. There's a keyhole right there. This arm looks like it is solidly placed in there. I don't think we can remove it. Oh, we can remove it. So there's some building there. And that leg feels pretty solid. I don't want to break it, but pretty simple. A little more simple than I thought. I thought we would be able to really dig into the guts, kind of puzzle piece it back together. It feels like the toy is more based on the action feature of the DNA activator key than anything else going on. I can kind of see some redness inside here. Feels like, oh, maybe we could have taken that apart too, but I just don't see that happening. So that is what we have with the inside anatomy of the T-Rex. So I guess now we just place her back together and maybe compare her with another T-Rex. Here is a thrash and throw T-Rex. They're very close. Thrash and throw, maybe just slightly a little bit larger. A little wider stance and a little bit taller, a little bit thicker. If you're looking for that T-Rex with inside views, this is the one to get. Makes a good display piece with this side piece removed. And it's fun to mess around with these muscle masses. I guess all that's left is to feed it a goat and watch the T-Rex digest it. Jurassic World Tyrannosaurus Rex Anatomy Kit arrives on store shelves fall 2018, runs approximately $40. If you are big into looking into things a little bit closer, the T-Rex Anatomy Kit gives you that opportunity. It can be a little clumsy at times, panels will be falling off, but it surely will keep you busy in the cold winter months of the coming ice age, perhaps. Just make sure to feed it a small plastic goat now and again. That's what I have to say about that. Fascinating dissection, but needs more goat guts. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe.